Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on second order linear or homogeneous recurrence relation. First of all, what is second order linear or homogeneous recurrence relation and what is the general form and what is its characteristic equation and how we are solving that characteristic equation and what are the cases we have to consider for solving second order linear recurrence relation that can be discussed in this video. Okay, so let us consider the recurrence relation c power n into a sub x n plus c power n minus 1 into a sub x n minus 1 plus c power n minus 2 into a sub x n minus 2 is equal to 0 for n greater than or equal to 2. So, this can be taken as equation 1. Okay. So, this is the second order linear recurrence relation. So, second order linear recurrence relation is of degree 2. Okay. Next one. Right hand side part is equal to 0. Hence, we can say that it is a linear or a homogeneous recurrence relation of second order. Okay. Now, here c power n, c power n minus 1 and c power n minus 2 are called real constants. Okay. So, this type of relation is called as second order linear or a homogeneous recurrence relation with constant coefficients. Here, c power n, c power n minus 1 and c power n minus 2 are called a constant coefficients. Okay. Here, n greater than or equal to 2 because it is a second order linear recurrence relation so that n value always greater than or equal to 2. Okay. Now, uh, in equation 1, so substitute a suffix n is equal to c into k power n. So, why we are substituting this value? First of all, this is the second order linear recurrence relation. How we are solving that second order linear recurrence relation? So, for that one, first step is substitute a suffix n is equal to c into k suffix n. After substituting this value, the equation 1 becomes, okay, c power n, okay, a suffix n is there. In place of a suffix n, we are substituting this value. So, c into k, sub k power n plus c power n minus 1. Here, a suffix n minus 1 is there. Here, a suffix n value is equal to c into k power n. a suffix n minus 1 value is equal to c into k power n minus 1. So, substitute c into k power n minus 1 in place of a suffix n minus 1 plus c power n minus 2. Okay. Into a suffix n minus 2. a suffix n value this one. Now, a suffix n minus 2 is equal to c into k power n minus 2. So, c into k power n minus 2. Okay. After substituting this value in equation 1. Now, this equation becomes the equation 2. Okay. After substituting a suffix n and a suffix n minus 1 and a suffix n minus 2 values in equation 1. Now, we are getting this equation. This equation can becomes the equation 2. Okay. Here, c is a constant. Okay. So, C is a constant in equation 2. So, after removing C value, now equation 2 becomes this one. C power n into K sub x n, K power n plus C power n minus 1 into K power n minus 1 
plus c power n minus 2 into k power n minus 2 is equal to 0. So now this equation 2 becomes equation 3. So after c value can be uh, removed because c is a constant. Okay. Now after that substitute n is equal to 2 in equation 3. Because it is a second order linear or our homogeneous recurrence relation. Hence, we have to substitute n value is equal to 2 in equation 3. So, after substituting n value is equal to 2 in equation 3, we are getting this one. Okay, c power 2 into k power 2 plus c power 2 minus 1 into k power 2 minus 1 plus c power 2 minus 2 into k power 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, c power 2 into k power 2 plus c power 1 into k power 1 plus c power 0 into k power 0 is nothing but 1. So, c power 0 is equal to 0. Now, we are getting equation 4 after substituting n is equal to 2 in equation 3. Okay, according to that, we have to write the general term. General term is c power n into k square, c power n minus 1 into k plus c power n minus 2. Okay, so here n value is equal to 2, this is the equation. Okay, now c power n, c power n, k square is not changed, plus c power n minus 1, n is equal to 2, here c power 1 is there. So, now c power n minus 1. n is equal to 2. Here 0 is there. So, plus c power n minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this is the equation 5. This equation 5 is called as auxiliary equation or a characteristic equation of relation 1. Okay. So, this is the given relation 1. Okay, for this relation, what is the characteristic equation or an auxiliary equation? So, now this is the characteristic equation or an auxiliary equation. Once we are getting the characteristic or an auxiliary equation, then we have to solve this characteristic equation. Okay. For solving that uh, characteristic equation, we have three cases are there. Okay, case one. Okay, after solving this characteristic equation, we are getting two roots because it is a second order linear or a homogeneous recurrence relation. Two roots we are getting. That roots can be taken as k1 and k2. Okay. So, by using that roots, there are the three possible solutions are there. Each and every possible solution can be taken as one case. Case 1. Okay, the two roots of the given characteristic equation are a real and a distinct. Okay, the two roots are real numbers and the two roots are different. Then, what is the general solution? Okay. Second case, if the two roots are equal, okay, what is the general solution? That is case 2. Okay. The two roots are imaginary numbers. Okay. So, then what is the solution? So, these are the three cases we are considered. Up to now, I am taking the uh, second order linear recurrence relation. Okay. For that uh, second order linear recurrence relation, we have to solve the characteristic equation. Once we are getting the characteristic equation, we have to find out the two roots. If the two roots are real, we can go for case 1, real and distinct, we can go for case 1. The two roots are equal, we can go for case 2. The two roots are imaginary numbers, we can go for case 3. Okay, now we go for cases. Now, uh, this equation 5 is called the auxiliary equation 
for a characteristic equation. Okay, for that auxiliary or characteristic equation, we have to find out the roots. Okay, once we are getting the roots, okay, you have to observe that two roots. Okay, based on the roots, we have three cases of solutions are there. Okay, first case, case one, if the two roots of the characteristic equation 5 are real numbers and distinct, real and distinct, then the solution is a sub x n is equal to a into k1 power n plus b into k2 power n, where k1 and k2 are the roots of characteristic equation 5. Okay, here a and b are called the odd constants. Okay, now this is the general solution of equation 1. If the two roots are real and distinct, now this is the general solution of the second order linear or a homogeneous recurrence relation. Okay, now why we are going for second case? Okay, if the two roots of the characteristic equation are equal, okay, the two roots means k1 and k2 are the two roots of the characteristic equation. The two roots are equal. That means k1 is equal to k2. Then we go for case 2 for getting the solution of second order linear homogeneous recurrence relation. So this is the solution. A sub x n is equal to A plus B n into k power n. Here k is nothing but either k1 root or a k2 root. Because both roots k1 and k2 are equal, here we have to write either k1 or a k2. Because k is equal to k1 is equal to k2. Okay, so this is the general solution of equation 1 when we are getting the two roots k1 and k2 of the characteristic equation are equal. Okay. Now, then we go for case 3. Why we are going for case 3? Okay. So, once we are uh, finding out the roots of the characteristic equation, the two roots k1 and k2 are complex numbers. Okay. K1 and K2 are complex numbers and K1 and K2 roots are conjugate, complex conjugates of each other. So then K1 is equal to P plus IQ, K2 is equal to P minus IQ. Here what is the difference between them? Here plus is there, here minus is there. Hence we can say that K1 and K2 roots are complex conjugates of each other. So once we are getting the two roots or complex conjugates of the characteristic equation 5, then we can go for case 3. Okay, then what is the solution? Here the solution is equal to a suffix n is equal to r power n into a cos n theta plus b sin n theta, where a and B are the uh, arbitrary complex constants. Arbitrary complex constants. Here, what is R value? R is equal to mod K1 is equal to mod K2 is equal to root of P square plus Q square. Okay. Then, what is theta value? Theta is equal to tan inverse Q by P. Tan inverse Q by P. What is P value and key value? Here P is nothing but K1 is equal to P plus IQ. K2 is equal to P minus IQ. These are the two complex uh, roots of the given characteristic equation. Fine. Okay. 
So based on that, P plus I Q and P minus I Q, R is equal to mod K1 is equal to mod K2 is equal to root of P square plus Q square. Here P value is there, here Q value is there. Okay, so then what is theta value? Theta is equal to tan inverse Q by P. Here Q value and P value is there. Okay, so this is the general solution of the uh, characteristic equation of relation 1 when both roots are complex numbers of the characteristic equation 5. Okay, so this is the uh, solution for second order linear or homogeneous recurrence relation. Okay, first we have to take the general form of second order linear recurrence relation. After that, we have to find out the characteristic equation. Once we are uh, getting the characteristic equation, we have to find out the roots of the characteristic equation. Based on the roots of the characteristic equation, if both the roots are real and distinct, then we can go for case 1 and this is the general solution of the equation 1. If both roots are uh, real and equal, then we can go for case 2. This is the general solution of the equation 1. If both roots are complex numbers, then we can go for case 3. And this is the general solution of uh, equation 1. Okay. In this way, we have to solve the second order linear or a homogeneous recurrence relation. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So, Divyal Srinivasarao. In the next video, we have to solve some example problems on second order linear or a homogeneous recurrence relations. Thank you.